Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brick World. And today is one world premiere in my opinion. We're going to combine the world of Lego with the world of model railroad. In a way, nobody did it in that size, in that style. We're going to digitalize our signals, something I really started a while ago. But today we're going to make it possible that different signals are working together in our city. So stay tuned. What you see here, you might remember it. It's my first prototype. I did it a while ago. It's not very nice. It's a yeah, just a prototype. But you can see on the right side, I'm using a decoder for the set 21 for Roku Fleischmann. That's a very famous company for yeah model railroad technology. And I'm going to adapt that technology to Lego. That was my prototype, but that's nothing I want to implement in my city. So I'm going to do the next version. That's just some testing. You can see here the app for the set 21 and i'm just testing if the yeah the stuff it is self working so you can see i can change some stuff here on the app but only one light is here that's just testing for the first first version of that yeah release candidate if you want to call it like that and now i'm just working here i'm adding more lights to it more leds by the way, I'm combining not only the system of the Z21 from the model railroad technology, also using LEDs from yeah, Light My Bricks. And it's a very nice combination. As you can see here, I'm using a new kind of cable. It's a cable consisting of six different cables. And then everything goes here into my signal. At the moment, you can see... It's um, yeah, really better than my first prototype. It's just one big uh, cable going out here. We have these different colors. It's very nice for me because I can see on the other side where everything should be plugged in in the decoder. And now you can see that we can just change the signals by just tipping here on the app. We can do some different signals. We have, for example, that one that means slowly driving here in Germany that means driving normal um, speed and that's full stop in two red lights and it's yeah it's working it's very very good by the way you can see here these are the cables on the other side you can see the different colors um every color is going to one of the LEDs on the other side and I'm just started to do another one that's my signal I just removed it from my city now we can really do another one so we can start testing how two different signals are working together and then after that we can put them back in the city two signals are now done both of them are now green you can see here the app i have two signals here also in the app and now i can really just use my fingertip to change the signal on the left side also on the right side so i can really uh, control every signal just here with the set 21 app but that's not the main goal of today's work now i can just work here just testing one by one but i really want to get both of the signals interact with each other so that means we have to um, do that in the app so we can add the different uh, tracks in the city and then we can say if the uh, switch is going on the left side or on the right side we can switch the different signals it's very very important in my opinion because the very big main goal in my city is to make it m so realistic as possible and also i want to really do the first possible very big railroad model railroad lego city in the world so you can see here we have two different um, signals here we have two different tracks and now i can just change the um, which of these both tracks are open for uh, trains and concerning or on base of that the two signals are changing each other you can see on the left side it's going now slowly driving on the right side it's red and that's how i really want to let that work now it's time to put everything back to the city you can see i can just use that uh, hole i drilled into the table to put in that bigger cable here under the table and everything can be connected on the underside of the table. The signals are now in. I just have used some different parts to hide these little uh, holes. Also, the next signal is standing here. And I think you can just see a little bit of the cables. But I think that's okay. Um, you're not all going to see that if you're not um, just looking for them. 
Now it's time to test if everything works here on the table. That's very, very important. And then after that, we can add the other signals in a future update. That's how it looks under the table. Here's coming down one of the cables. Here's coming down the cables from the other signal. Here's the set 21. Uh, it's just lying here on that um, you know, your wooden table here. That's not the final position. It's just for testing right now. Just want to show you that is still everything is in development, but we can now test it on the top here. We have our two signals here on the right side. One is now red, the left one says uh, driving slowly. And here's once again the app of the set 21. And now we can change here the signals just by tipping on the app. And yeah, it's working very, very good. It's working well. It's just how I wanted to have that. But these are only two signals, so in the future I just need to add the other six signals here from that side of the train station. And then we need to implement everything into the app. And then everything is working, hopefully, then we can start working at the switches itself. They're going to be added some uh, servo motors and then we can also switch the yeah the switches here just by tipping on the app and then we are on a very very good way to really digitalize the city or the trains in my city and i think that's something nobody did in such a big scale until now so that's really really something new here and it's a lot of work it's a lot of stuff to do but i think we did a good uh, step forward in today's update. So as I said, in one of the next updates, we're going to implement this technology I showed you today to the other six signals here on the left side. And then let's see how everything works. And then once again, we're going to work at the switch it itself. And then we are on a very good way to really digitalize everything. After that, we really need digitalize the train itself that's going to be one very important and very interesting stuff and with a lot of work but i think it's the yeah i think it's a very nice idea and after that we can maybe let the yeah trains drive really just by using the app and that's something nobody did before in that way so yeah hopefully everything goes well until next time and bye